Panther Yoga. I would say the chances of getting stuck here today are uh, moderate to maybe. But my tractor just completely and utterly died. Yep, yep, that's bad idea. Yep, bad idea. No way he's doing that. Yeah, Barry. Graceful. Well, welcome back to the good old Southern IA in another planting vlog. Like we said, we've been missing out on a few planting vlogs because of the weather, but today we're actually gonna go try and plant some soybeans. Could be questionable. What we're going to be planting into today is an actual old sod field that has been killed off. So it was a hay field essentially. Uh, and it's been burned off, which killed off, burned off. That's the same thing in farming terms. Uh, and we're just gonna no-till some soybeans into it. It's still wet out here, but we think we can probably go across the top of the dirt. We know we could probably get the beans into the ground, but we also know that we have a lot of rain coming. So this might be our chance for the next two weeks to be able to put anything in the ground. In terms of crops currently, uh, you can obviously row some of our soybeans. These are some of the earlier planted soybeans. For the most part, the soybeans right now are looking pretty darn good. But don't let me forget to remind you guys that these planting vlogs are working their way closer and closer to an end as we get closer and closer to getting done planting soybeans. Uh, I think I may have stated in one of the later videos is that we're down to a little less than 200 acres unless I pick up some custom work, which is always possible. And with fewer and fewer planting vlogs for us to produce for you guys, there's fewer and fewer chances for you guys to win one of these hats by making one of these planting vlogs reach 2,000 likes. And we don't want to forget that all those likes equal these bad scratches. And since we haven't had a video in a while, he's been back scratch deprived. Uh, not really. But the hat giveaway for when we reach 25,000 subscribers will continue on. And then, of course, like always, you guys can win a sticker by being my favorite comment within the first 24 hours of this video being posted. Sweatpants, that's kind of the look of a farmer that didn't know if he was going to do any farming. I just went up there to check the dirt, and that's all I did. That <laughs> was like, I gotta change my time. We're getting a late start to the day here. We were all ready to go at about 8 o'clock this morning, and then essentially at 8 o'clock it was supposed to rain at 9 o'clock, at 9 o'clock it didn't rain. At 10 o'clock, we figured the rain maybe it passed or something along those lines. My dad took off to go look at this field. Now it's 11 o'clock. We're gonna go try and plant. So really a day off turned into a day of work. So the field that I'm headed to is about 120 acres. Uh, I've never planted this field before, so it, I would have to be planting in a, the dark in a field that I've never planted. Uh, I would do that, you know, if we had the opportunity to get the field actually done. We'll just have to see how it goes. It still might be too wet, com completely too wet to actually even plant. So we're gonna take the buggy up to the field, and then Dad and I are gonna go get the bean planter. Fill it and then put the planter down. You got the wind going up your nose? Good smells. Let's go! 
way to use the angle, bud. Look at this class act of a road right here. Yeah, boys. Planter yoga. stuck here today are uh, moderate to maybe yeah, the fact that we're wet right now I've never been on this farm so I don't really know where the wet spots are there's a chance we be normally pushing this right now no we won't but currently the weather forecast looks not so good It is plenty wet out here. I have flung mud everywhere. I am trying to get up this hill. And I'm just spinning it up this hill. There must be a seep or something in that part because that's far wetter than everything else. It's like, man. It's not like wet to the point where I think I'd get, like bury the tractor. But it's wet to the point where the tractor just spins. Just spins. And flings mud clots everywhere. I didn't get it on camera, but my tractor just completely and utterly died. Like its fuel filter was getting plugged. It started chugging when we're not chugging, we're not pulling as good as it would normally. Let's see if it starts. <laughs> depth gauge pins on this track, uh, rear units number 9 and 10, looks like they're pushing it in there pretty deep, and then uh, we're going to check out these filters, it's running okay now, but man, it just died, it's really weird. So on these Kinsey planters, there's a depth gauge set, which stops the wheels from going all the way up. And that one is definitely broken. Yep, sheared it. That one was sucking in the beans. And that one sheared it too. Oh gosh. I lost that one too. That's fun. Ugh. Okay, gotta fix those. Today's episode of Ben Fixes a Planter, depth gauge pins. 
But speaking of fixing a planter, those bushings that we got to fix up these row units from Precision Planting Solutions, they're doing great. little shield off or not? It's not a hard one. I think it's it, huh? You can hear it sucking air. You hear it sucking air? We'll just change that other filter too, I guess. <sighs> I turned the wheels the other way. It's like, oh, it's gonna be a bear. Where? That's, that's, the, one, that's the bleed plug. That's the one that gave us trouble last time. We didn't bleed it. You need to put fuel on those seals, a little on your finger. Push the, push that primer. fuel is it? A lot of air. That's why it quit. It got air. I wonder if we don't have that filter on backwards. What one? That's one. Where did this hose go? What's that? No, I think it's on right. I can't tell ever tell where this hose goes. It's right. The arrows were forward, I'm sure. Yeah, I know. I always just it's not backwards. It just, that's what exactly what it did last time we fought it. We couldn't get it to run because we never got it bled right. This thing is very picky about having air in its system. Still chocolate. Well, hopefully that gets this girl's attitude back in order. One thing that I started to do uh, after we purchased this tractor, since I partly own this tractor, is that 
I'm trying to keep as good a service records as I can, so I keep a notebook in the tractor. Uh, then, so I'll like write down the dates whenever I do anything to the tractor. So today is the 22nd, so 5-22-20, and I'll just say tractor, fuel, filters, were weak.
then after that, we'll be in pretty good shape because this isn't too bad up over here. Watch it, now it gets done. So with literally that left in this field, I am out of seed. So we're gonna do a fill up. And we're gonna do another time lapse while we do the fill up. And then we're probably gonna move on to the other field because we got blue sky over there, even though it did sprinkle on me a few times. I was just talking with my dad seeing on how most of the time when I'm planting with this tractor I'm usually in like 11th gear or 12th gear and I got the rev limiter turned down pretty low so that like this thing I'll burn I'll plant all day long and burn a little over half a tank of diesel fuel I had half a tank of diesel fuel to start out in this field and uh, I don't have the rev limiter set because I wanted to make sure it has all the horsepower it needs when we get into a, a wet spot. But I don't want to plant very fast either. So I'm planting at like four, four and a half miles an hour. We're burning some diesel fuel. We've gotten that first field done now and the sun's starting to set. We've got about 15 acres done here in this next field. Uh, it's definitely in the back and we're definitely in the hills back here. Uh, we're gonna probably get this one done. There's, I actually broke this up into three different parts of this field And then I don't know what the weather looks like. I need to look like that. Look at that I don't know if we got a rain cloud coming in from the south to back there or uh, how things are gonna shape out I don't know if I'm gonna push late tonight or get up early in the morning Who knows? We'll know when you guys know or you guys will know when I know. Yeah, that's it. seven days the only day that it's yeah the only day it supposedly doesn't no that's Sunday Saturday that's one two three four wait tomorrow Saturday it's today Friday today's Friday right yeah so Saturday Sunday Monday Tuesday Wednesday one two three four five six seven eight nine nine days one out of the nine days doesn't have a rain icon We're probably going to push it. You know when you're opening up fields at night, you got to be really careful and look out for things. You never know when you might like find a bunker in the middle of a field. Yep. Starting to get a little bit nervous. I've uh, ended up with, I've got 70 acres done now. And uh, so that means I'm about 30 acres on this fill up. I'm starting to get a little nervous that I'm going to run out of field than I before I run out of, or no, I'm going to run out of beans before I run out of field. And I, we can't, I, it means I got, I'd have to fold up to go to the tender because we're not bringing that thing back here, I don't think. We'll find out. 70 acres. Oh, the true fun, nighttime box balancing. six acres left in this field. I don't think I got six acres of soybeans. It's almost 11 o'clock at night. I'll let him be lazy this time. Bandit, 
we broke a hundred acres. Not too bad for a day. We thought we were sitting on the couch all day, huh? Oh, I, I guess we almost we we broke into the next day too. Not doing too bad though. About out of beans. That's that's what I got left. And it's lightning over there, somewhere in the darkness. Well, it started to rain, and I have literally uh, not very much left. You guys can't see me, but you can hear me. I'm gonna push it. I'm gonna try and get it in. Try and get it done. Let's go home. But it's uh, 3.43 in the morning. Molly's gonna think I was out at the bar or something like that, coming home this late on a Friday, uh, more, Friday to Saturday morning? Friday, yeah. Friday night, Saturday morning. But anyways, guys, thank you for hanging out with me and Bandit down here in the good old Southern IA for another good day. You did good, huh? Aren't you? You're ready to go to bed. But it feels good to get that field done there before the rain. Uh, I would say I'd have to get up here in a little bit to do it all again, but uh, I stopped at the shop and got a quarter inch rain already. So we're uh, done for a little bit again. So if you would, don't forget, hit that like button if you guys are enjoying this content. And uh, always consider subscribing. We'll see you in the next one. I guess this is when Brian would say pole dancing.